I've been asked to comment on the Mirrors campaign to try to increase uh, sentences in relation to cases involving uh, mobile phone use. Uh, and the first thing to say is it's tremendous that the Mirror are involved in a campaign to raise awareness of this issue because it's very clearly a serious offence uh, and at the moment it's dealt with by the imposition of three penalty points. But what the Mirror have done with their story is they, they provide examples of uh, death by uh, what I would call dangerous driving with an aggravating factor, the aggravating factor being the use of a mobile phone. Now, uh, when they demand stiffer penalties for that, it's wrong to, uh, I think, mislead people by indicating that you might just receive penalty points or some sort of sentence in those ranges. Uh, the fact is that if you are convicted of death by dangerous driving, uh, Section 1 of the Road Traffic Act, and the aggravating factor is that you are perhaps texting on a phone, then you can expect a very substantial sentence. The sort of guidelines are between 8 years and 14 years uh, imprisonment uh, and a ban uh, from driving. Um, the ban's pretty inconsequential, it's a minimum of 2 years, but the fact is uh, that prison sentences can be expected where people use their telephones and they're involved in distracted driving and causing any type of uh, serious injury or death to another person. And we would expect that. So um, my comment in relation to the Mirror story is it's a bit of a non-story. Whilst it raises awareness about the use of mobile phones, and clearly there is an issue because it seems to be that uh, from the statistics that they refer to that there's an increase in use of mobile phones, the fact of the matter is that many people should in fact be charged with careless driving or dangerous driving if they're using their mobile phones whilst driving. They shouldn't simply be charged with the straightforward offence of use of a mobile phone uh, whilst driving. That's entirely a matter for the police and the procurator fiscal in Scotland. So when the police report the case, one can expect that if the report provides enough detail of the circumstances of the case and the procurator fiscal is concerned enough about those circumstances, one would expect to be um, charged with dangerous driving or careless driving and the sentencing options are much higher there. In relation to careless driving, three to nine penalty points or a discretionary ban would be available to the court. In relation to dangerous driving, a mandatory ban of at least 12 months in order to reset uh, your driving test and uh, a high level of financial penalty could be expected. Um, the story in relation to the mirror as I say, is worthy because it highlights a real serious issue on the roads of Britain. And that's uh, pointed out by their own research and the photographs that they have showing, uh, I think, more than 70 odd drivers uh, involved in driving and texting and driving and using their, their mobile phone to make or receive a call. Driving and texting can particularly aggravate a situation because clearly it shows a long period of time of distraction and that can easily be established by the interrogation of the phone at a later stage. So these charges are already serious. Uh, if they're involving a death, if they're involving an injury, people can expect a custodial sentence. Um, if you're involved in any such offence, then obviously you should contact a solicitor who has some experience in this field. I'd suggest you get in touch with us or uh, one of the many solicitors who are now specialising in this area, but get legal advice as soon as you can. You can call us on 0800 612 9597. That's 0800 612 9597. We don't charge for our initial consultation and we'll meet with you and look at your case and discuss the strengths and weaknesses of your case and provide you with legal advice on that.